Hey guys, what's up? Um, Josiah or James Gaming here. Today I'm going to show you how to build um, the paper airplane model that I designed myself in the um, X Stealth series um, called the Wobbly Space um, Ship. Wobbly Spaceship. So here I have what it used to look like. It used to look like all of these pieces are ready. So um, if I need to refer back to this, I'll just like take a second. So that's what this is. It's not all crumpled up. It actually has specific folds and stuff. See? Oh wow. So yeah, I'm going to show you how to make it. Um, this plane, on a good day, it'll fly up to 20 feet or more sometimes. And if you throw it just right, occasionally it'll just kind of glide and glide for a while. Um, you want to throw this plane, I'd say, not horizontally completely, sometimes horizontally and then sometimes just 20 degrees above horizontally. So anywhere between like this range you want to throw it from. Like that. So um, this is going to be the front of the plane and this is going to be the back. And so I can work on camera. I'm going to work from the back. But, well, not like that. I'm going to work back here. <laughs> anyway. So the first thing you want to do, as always, is um, hold your plane in half. And uh, the paper I'm using today, as you can see, it's called the Classic. I don't like those titles because I never actually build what they are. So yeah, it's just a really cool design, and for those of you who have 3D glasses on right now, for any reason, then this should look 3D. That's why it's this color. Um, I lost my 3D glasses, or actually, they're probably in my box. Yeah, they're probably in my box, so I'll show you, kind of, I'll see if I can show you what it looks like through the glasses and my camera. I'm not sure how that would work, but whatever. Maybe we could do it. So yeah. Fold in half pretty sharply as usual. And then what you want to do is, um, let's see, how much did I fold it? And, yeah, I did do that. Okay. So, what you, well, I think you flip it over, okay, so once you have it from here, flip it over like so. And then just fold, I'd say, give it two or three inches, no, two, two and a half inches about right here. Like so, and then fold straight down. That. Make sure these edges line up. Okay, like so, and then this edge should line up. So, okay, like that. And then you need you're gonna need two of these types of bars, so or lines just as guides. So fold it and make try to fold it again like this. Um, oh wait, no, there's an easy way. I forgot. Okay, so you folded that down, flip it over. Good. So now just fold it the other way like this, um, so this flap is here, and you want this top here, hold on, I'm getting really messy, okay, so you want this top flap right here, um, by the way, this is an advanced fold, so, um, if, cause this is a newer model that I've made, and uh, it's kind of hard, so if you want, are up for the challenge, stay and watch, but if you feel like just, um, making a simpler plane, or you just want something that glides, not just a wobbly thing, because that's what this plane really does, that's what it's for, it just wobbles, it's basically a toy, not really a plane. I think I messed up, it's a little bit uneven, squeeze that, like so, yeah, okay. Why isn't it working? Okay, you want so you want these two things to match, and I'm, I'm really struggling here for some reason. This paper's not perfectly even, I assume, so I don't think they cut it good because it's just you know a kid's toy. But I use it for my models. So um, now you have this kind of accordion fold thing. So just flatten all that out, kind of push down on that little center part right here. Um, so you want all that to be flat and stuff. Now take this top corner right here, or either one you can start with, and fold it down to the center, like so. And it should reach the very bottom line right here, if you did it right. See this line right here? And it meets up with the bottom of this. Now, um, sometimes when you're folding these little uh, triangular things down, you're going to notice, like, you know, let's say, like this. So for, say this happened right here. This is really bad because this little part, it's still making a point, which seems okay, right? But, um, this part, if it goes over this one, and you'll see kind of, like, a missing part right there, if that happens, 
just try to make it perfect because that's this is the base of your plane if it's not perfect like that if it's not it doesn't come off like that I mean sometimes it's okay if it's like that you know there's a little space in there that's okay but um if there's a lot and or if there's a lot or there's not enough like if it's rolling over the other one you need to fix it okay so as you can see this one's longer that's a problem so I'm just gonna have to try to meet them in the middle I'm not sure why it does that, but it does. Why are you doing this to me, plane? Ugh, it's annoying. So yeah, you just want to make this, all of this base. I mean, other than that, you can make a couple mistakes, but on the base you want it to be as good as you can. So, um, today guys, uh, if you watch this video, like, right after I post it, or just soon after I post it, today is the, well, let me check my watch real fast, no, I have to fold this first or else it'll own this up. See, I have a lot of space in there, I mean, it's not gonna hurt it terribly, you don't want it, but for some reason this paper was cut unevenly or something. Actually, that might mess me up. Um, I'm gonna try to... Here, I'm going to cut the video, guys, until... Oh, by the way, um, it's the 20th, so if you're watching this on March 20th, then um, today I'm going to do the uh, Suggested by Knockout King gauge. I'm going to do the uh, John Cena theme song on my piano and violin, um, for those of us who play violin. Uh, it will work on any instrument, which I'll show you on my piano. Um, and I'll show you all the notes. I'll probably leave like, all the letters, note-wise, and stuff, down in the description or something. Um, yeah, so make sure you watch out for that, and also, I'm doing a time-lapse for my magnetic thinking putty, because that seems to be a popular thing to watch on YouTube, and, um, I have some myself, and I really like it. Um, $20 go, um, to Aaron's Crazy Putty, um, or Crazy Aaron's Thinking Putty dot com. I'm not sure if that's what it is, but look him up. He has some super cool putty. Uh, not he, but that company has some really cool putty. Uh, they have 24 karat gold putty with um, actual gold in it. It's $250. They have uh, Scarab, which is like a rainbow thing, and it changes colors. They have heat sensing putty. They have magnetic putty, which I have. Get that one. It's the best. Um, or I love it anyway. You can get a small can for about four ninety nine, I think, anywhere from three to five dollars around there, uh, to seven dollars, I guess, too. Um, and then, if you want a large can, which is what I have, in fact, I might show you if I had it with me. Oh, I might cut the video and go get it and show y'all. But um, it's twenty dollars, and depending on what kind you get, it could be more or less. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, so I have this perfect now. Um, I had to ramble for a little bit, but I got it. So now what we're going to do, we have, you kind of want these to be X's, see? So you're going to have, like, a half diamond here, a half diamond here, and a diamond here. I'll show you what I mean. So what you're going to do is, um, you're going to take this whole, whole thing here. You're going to fold it over to the edge, like so. But, there's a little trick here. This is the advanced stuff comes in, There's, we're going to have like a train or hexagon base stuff, it's going to be kind of weird. So you want to get this a perfect triangle here, like so, and you're going to crease all the way, except till you reach, your, let's see if you can see it right here, when you reach that little crease, did you see what I just hit, that thing, right here, that little thing where the line goes up, you want it to, you want to stop creasing from there. So I just folded it like that and creased. So now, as you can see, we have that X line, so X here, X here, or line here, line here. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Uh, perfect triangle, again, crease sharply until, hold on, is that right? Yeah. So, okay, and then crease sharply until this little mark right here, where this line goes up. See? So, um, just where this little bottom line is, you're going to crease until you hit that. 
so you're gonna have all these random folds and stuff. So this is where the hexagon thing, uh, hexagon thing comes in. So um, hold, hold your. Uh, this is the front of your plane. So hold it up like this, like I'm showing you, um, with all these creases that you just made pointing outward. And if something's wrong, um, if you did something wrong, just go back to my video, maybe watch it better. So what you did, you just pulled it over. Okay, and you crease this way until you reach that line right there, and you did the same thing on this side, and so now you should have these two little things popping out. So what you want to do is uh, just kind of tuck these in, like the way it wants to go. Fold it like that, and so it looks like this. Now take this flap and make it meet up with this one, see? And take this flap and make it meet up with this one, like so. I say like so too much, it's kind of annoying. Okay, here we go. Um, like that. You see? So it's gonna kind of have this, um, house shape, I guess you could say. Uh, like half of a hexagon, the other half would be right here. See? Now we're gonna make it into a smaller hexagon. So, now you ha you should have these little flaps right here that kind of make it look like a piano if you set it up like that or something. I don't know. But, um, these little lines right here, you should be able to see these creases. Fold these that way to meet those creases, which should be really easy since you already have a crease here. Smoosh down pretty hard. Do the others, do the same thing here. Make sure they meet into the tip. Like that. See? My ears starting to ring in. Hold on. Oh, yeah. That felt kind of weird. So, um, let's see. How do we do this? And then, oh, yeah. Okay. So now we're going to start making the small hexagon shape. Um, so your thing should look like this. It could, I guess, look like a barn sort of shape here. Um, oh, excuse me, <laughs> like that. And so flip it around so this is facing away from you. And take this flat folding that's in the center like this, okay? Fold it up towards like that. Let's see? I'll show you again on the other side if you didn't catch it. There. Now you want to do. Okay, so you could, uh, like, if you're folding in half, except only fold this one little part, you want this tip right here to meet up with that tip. So you're just going to fold that up, make sure this is a perfectly straight line, and it's going to show a little bit of the other color that you're folding with, unless you're using blank white paper, but it'll show a little bit of the layer under it just because, well, we're not perfect computers and we can't do stuff, like, perfectly. Um, we're human. But anyway, so yeah. Um, I know this doesn't look like a hexagon, so you know how you folded it to the center earlier? Now you're going to fold it back out like this, and you can kind of make out that little tiny kind of hexagon shape, see? Right here. But you want it to stand out even more. So, flip it over like that. Keep these like this, and then hold them down. Flip them over. And, um, so this is like this, and you want to fold this kind of over, like so. Um... We're going to make really strange, strange wings. Uh, it'll be kind of in the center of the plane rather than the top or bottom like usual. So it'll look very, very weird. Um, but it, that's part of what makes it wobble. And kind of, It's just a fun toy to play with. It doesn't go that far, but still. It's kind of nice to just have a little wobbly grasshopper looking thing if you hold it upside down. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, so it should naturally just kind of fold over like that. You don't really have to crease anything, but what you do have to crease... Oh, okay, here, if you're having trouble, you need to meet this line up with this line, kind of like we did earlier. So, crease that down, make sure it's centered up. And this one, as you can see, it isn't, because you can see that little lip down there. So just kind of get it to where it's better. Fold it over. Sorry, just kind of stop talking. It's a little awkward. Except that should be sticking out. Like so. I told you the wrong thing to do to fold it in the center. But I suppose you can do that. Kind of helps. So, then you want to... Uh-oh. That's not even. Hold on. Maybe you just push it over a little bit. You shouldn't have this problem. I'm just using thicker paper because... Well, it's better paper for planes. And... Um, if you didn't watch any of my previous videos, I do not, do not do, oh gosh, gosh, I just like crushed my finger or something, hold on, sorry for those of you who 
get bothered when people pop their fingers. Ooh, something went out of place or something. Wow, that was, that was strange. Um, anyway, why is it, like, mm, that was so strange. Okay, hold on. Let's just, let's just get reacquainted here. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so yeah, just fold it over. And then make sure your fingers don't come out of place while doing it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Welcome to J Ranks Gaming's Everyday Life. Okay, the life of Josiah. Anyway, so you'll have this kind of like suit looking thing, I guess. Like you could put a little doll in there or something and look like a suit. Kind of. Anyway, um for some reason this side's darker. It really bothers me. It's so strange. Like, who does that? Doesn't it all look darker to y'all? This side? And then this side's light. Like, why did they do that? I have no idea. Anyway. Gosh. You want to make it as centered as possible. Remember, nothing should be over the other one. Um, that helps a lot. Flip it back over, like so. And it should see you have this hexagon shape at the top, and then nothing else here at the bottom. That's what you want. Um, let's see. I think this is the part where we... Let me check. Do we do that? No, not yet. I'm not sure. Okay, hold on, guys. I'm going to check what I do.